Your Artist of the Week is Peter Blake. He was born in 1932, and he is still alive. And you have actually might have seen this artwork before. This is called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And this was an album cover for the Beatles. And the Beatles are right there in the middle. So he is the man, the artist, that created this album cover. And he's uh, his artwork uh, references a lot of pop art, bright colors, uh, popular imagery, things from consumer culture. Um, he is, he's been interested in the alphabet, so this is called the Dazzle Alphabet Letter Set. That's him right there with one of his other uh, works of art. So he works with paintings, collage, he does prints. He is still actively working, even though he's you know pretty old. Here's another one of his collages. We have all these butterflies flying around the Eiffel Tower. So again, this is made by collaging images on a surface. This is not. This is done by hand. This is not done with Photoshop. He also created a cover inspired by The Who, which is a music band. And again, this, this is really indicative of his work. Lots of bright colors, imagery, people. Uh, here's another collage. This looks like one of the buildings in London. Uh, I think this is Piccadilly Square, or Piccadilly Circus, and it's full of these cartoon characters. And a lot of the characters in the sky are um, superheroes, though some of them are repeating. We got a couple Supermen, we have a couple um, Wonder Women, we have an Iron Man here who's dressed kind of like a Santa. So you can tell that Peter Blake pulled these images from comics. And as another one of his collages, looks like he has a whole crowd in the back here. I, I do recognize some. Uh, U.S. presidents, but we also have the, this thing going on here too. And uh, again, he is very interested in the alphabet. This is one of his appropriated alphabets where he sourced the letter um, from different resources. So they're not all the same style. He's pulling them from different imagery. So Peter Blake, um, he is a British artist. He's associated with the pop art movement. So if you remember Andy Warhol, he is a pop artist. So um, he used imagery from popular culture to create colorful graphic images. And he'd work with screen printing, which is a form of printmaking with ink, layers and layers of colorful ink, painting and collage formats. And he is known for creating the album cover for the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And he created that in 1967. Uh, Peter Blake's work um, include recognizable aspects of popular culture, such as music, uh, bands, right? Cartoons and comics, famous people, advertisements, and consumer products. And Blake's collages were created by hand. Blake has been also interested in the alphabet and typography. Typography is the art of designing letters, um, which we actually, we would link this to his nostalgia for childhood imagery, right? Think of alphabet books, right? That's very much part of the young, young childhood. Blake actually served uh, part as part of the Royal Air Force in 1953, and after that he went to study graphic design in college. And the cover of the Beatles album, uh, which was created in 1967, um, Blake and his wife at the time, they designed it, and it was actually a sculpture built on a stage set. So it was not created using collaged photos. Even though we, when we look at the picture, it looks like a series of collaged photos collage photos. It was actually large printouts of each person to actually look like this layered sculpture. 